हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल दादास फिजिक्स सो आज के वीडियो में हम जानेंगे ब्लैक बॉडी रेडिएशन के बारे में सो so, क्या है ये ब्लैक बॉडी ब्लैक बॉडी कोई भी कोई भी चीज़ ले लो जो काला है वही क्या ब्लैक बॉडी है किसी को भी काले कलर से पेंट कर दूंगा तो वो क्या ब्लैक बॉडी बन जाएगा ये क्वेश्चन तुम लोगों के मन में आ सकता है तो इस वीडियो में हम जानेंगे एक्चुअली ये ब्लैक बॉडी क्या होता है ब्लैक बॉडी रेडिएशन क्या होता है एंड द फिजिक्स बिहाइंड दिस ब्लैक बॉडी रेडिएशन सो यहाँ पे मैंने एक एक्सपेरिमेंटल ग्राफ यहाँ पे मैंने दिया है पहले ही तो इस ग्राफ को हमें जानना पड़ेगा बेसिकली इस ग्राफ को अगर हमने जान लिया तो हमें ब्लैक बॉडी रेडिएशन का फिजिक्स पूरा पता चल जाएगा इस ग्राफ को ठीक से जानने के लिए हमें पहले जो चीज़ जानना पड़ेगा वो है ब्लैक बॉडी क्या है ब्लैक बॉडी रेडिएशन क्या है सो so, यहाँ पे ब्लैक बॉडी जो है ब्लैक बॉडी के साथ साथ वाइट बॉडी भी हो सकता है सो so, ये ब्लैक बॉडी क्या है ये जानने के लिए पहले अगर कोई भी ऑब्जेक्ट ले ले एंड उस ऑब्जेक्ट में इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक रेडिएशन अगर इंसिडेंट करेगा तो क्या क्या हो सकता है उसका आ, मैंने एक लिस्ट दिया है यहाँ पे रिफ्लेक्शन हो सकता है ट्रांसमिशन हो सकता है एब्जॉर्बन हो सकता है मतलब रिफ्लेक्शन क्या है यहाँ पे कोई इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक वेव आएगा यहाँ से रिफ्लेक्ट करके निकल जाएगा कुछ इससे ट्रांसमिट कर जाएगा ट्रांसमिट कर जाएगा मतलब इसका अंदर चला जाएगा ट्रांस ट्रांसमिट ओके अंदर से इससे निकल जाएगा और कुछ एब्जॉर्ब हो जाएगा मतलब ये जो मेटेरियल है इस मेटेरियल का जो एटम्स रहेगा वो एटम्स ये आ, कुछ रेडिएशन को एब्जॉर्ब कर लेगा तो so, यहाँ पे रिफ्लेक्शन को मैंने आर से ट्रांसमिशन को टी से एंड एब्जॉर्बन को ए से मैंने रिप्रेजेंट किया है ये सब कुछ एक फ्रैक्शन है यहाँ पे रिफ्लेक्शन का यहाँ पे आर जो है ये फ्रैक्शनल रिफ्लेक्शन रिप्रेजेंट कर रहा है टी जो है फ्रैक्शनल ट्रांसमिशन रिप्रेजेंट कर रहा है एब्जॉर्बन फ्रैक्शनल एब्जॉर्बन रिप्रेजेंट कर रहा है मतलब अगर टोटल एनर्जी को मैंने वन मान लिया तो आर प्लस टी प्लस ए इज इक्वल टू वन होगा ओके okay? मतलब एक फ्रैक्शन रिफ्लेक्शन होगा एक फ्रैक्शन ट्रांसमिशन होगा और एक एब्जॉर्ब होगा उसके बाद हमें वन मिलेगा नाउ यहाँ से हमें ब्लैक बॉडी और व्हाइट बॉडी का डेफिनेशन मिल जाएगा देखो ब्लैक बॉडी हम यहाँ पे परफेक्ट ब्लैक बॉडी का डेफिनेशन लिया है परफेक्ट ब्लैक बॉडी और दैट काइंड ऑफ बॉडी फॉर विच ए इज इक्वल टू वन वट डज इट मीन दैट्स मीन एक्चुअली इफ इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक वेव और इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक रेडिएशन इज इंसिडेंट ऑन ए बॉडी देन द बॉडी एब्जॉर्ब होल अमाउंट ऑफ दिस एनर्जी दिस बॉडी एब्जॉर्ब होल अमाउंट ऑफ एनर्जी देर इज नो ट्रांसमिशन रो नो रिफ्लेक्शन फॉर्म ओके देन दैट काइंड ऑफ बॉडी इज नोन एज ब्लैक बॉडी ओके नाउ I think uh, you should think about it. Why uh, we call it black? Because you know the reason behind the color black. Actually, black absorb uh, black color absorb all kind of uh, electromagnetic radiation in visible region. Okay, uh, that's why uh, the color is actually black. Okay, this is the definition of black, and uh, and the concept of black is. Uh, almost uh, similar to this black body because here black body absorbs uh, all radiations then uh, that zero to infinite okay any range of electromagnetic uh, radiation absorb totally that's why it is called black body in the other hand uh, the definition of white body what is white body white body is the kind of body uh, for which reflection refraction of reflection is one there is no absorption no transmission that means if uh, 
if a amount of electromagnetic radiation is incident on this body then it is totally reflected there is no uh, amount of energy absorbed by the atoms of this body or any transmission found here okay so this is the definition of perfect black body and perfect white body now there is a question is it exist is it uh, perfect black body is exist or perfect white body is exist definitely no perfect black body there is no perfect black body there is no perfect white body now i give an example of this black body radiation okay black body radiation if you consider a um, iron rod okay uh, here we consider a iron rod just a minute we change the color here okay uh, there we consider a iron rod okay this is a iron rod and if it is heated if it is heated uh, up to a temperature um, up to a certain temperature then uh, actually we does not observe any radiation from here if we increase this amount the amount of temperature of this rod then after a certain temperature what we, uh, we found we found that uh, this uh, iron rod become red become red okay red hot we call it red hot okay that means actually we uh, we found a color of this uh, of this iron rod that is it become red and as we found uh, this the rod uh, red that means there is a electromagnetic radiation because red is a electro uh, red is a light in visible region because you found you find this uh, this electromagnetic radiation from the rod and that's why you call that uh, the, the rod the rod become red hot okay so when it is red hot that means it radiates an electromagnetic radiation uh, which has the wavelength of color red okay which has the wavelength of color red now if we increase the amount of uh, temperature of this rod then after a certain temperature it become uh, it become white it become white hot okay it become white hot. and now the question is what does it mean that uh, the rod become white hot white in white color you know that uh, every uh, visible uh, every visible color when mixed uh, all visible color when mixed uh, in a uh, in a in this range then it becomes white that's why sun uh, that's why uh, white color is actually mixture of all uh, visible range color okay so when the rod become white hot that means it radiates uh, every uh, electromagnetic radiation in visible region from red to blue red to blue okay that is actually it radiates with geo okay it's a your with geo and not only the visible region actually the rod is radiated from infrared region to ultraviolet region okay and uh, we can't uh, we can't observe this uh, we can't uh, watch this infrared region and also ultraviolet region okay we only observe uh, the visible uh, visible range that is 400 nanometer 400 nanometer to 700 nanometer okay uh, 700 nanometer after this uh, after this uh, 400 nanometer to 700 nanometer after this it become infrared after this uh, it become infrared and uh, below 400 nanometer it's become ultraviolet so we can't uh, observe this infrared region uh, radiation and this ultraviolet region radiation we can observe uh, this to this okay so if uh, we analyze this total profile of uh, heating of this uh, iron rod what we uh, what we found actually when it is red hot that means there is an, um, uh, when it is it is starting it is starting to hit okay when the rod is starting to hit okay uh, then initially we get infrared region electromagnetic radiation after that we found red okay here we get a uh, red almost and uh, th after that uh, when we increase the temperature we'll get white okay 
that means uh, in this white uh, electromagnetic radiation uh, this full region is present in this white radiation okay that's why it is white after that it, uh, it become ultraviolet so when we increase the temperature when we increase the temperature and the wavelength the wavelength of uh, the radiation become smaller okay so uh, from this experimental uh, experimental observation we can say that this lambda is inversely proportional with the temperature and from this lambda from this lambda into sorry from this lambda into t is equal to constant okay and this is a very important law of blackbody radiation and this is known as wayne's law this is known as wayne's law okay so in my next lecture i will discuss about uh, the physics behind this kind of radiation and the and uh, uh, the most important thing is that uh, the experimental uh, experimental result of uh, the experimental result of this uh, the experimental result of this radiation uh, that is uh, in this graph okay that is in this graph okay in this graph the uh, this uh, this result actually it is not explained uh, very easily okay and uh, this the explanation of this blackbody radiation gives us the idea of quantum gives us the idea of quantum theory from uh, to explain this black body radiation uh, max planck introduced uh, his concept of quantization of energy and from this we we can start about our journey in quantum physics okay so let's see in my next lecture and uh, i think it is clear to all of you that what is black body and what is black body radiation okay so the radiation found in this uh, in te temperature then it is called black body radiation and one more thing one more thing is that uh, that this radiation is actually only depends on the temperature not only uh, not only the property of the body the property of the material okay it is depend on temperature completely okay that's why it also known as thermal radiation that's why it is also known as thermal radiation okay that's why it is also known as thermal radiation why thermal radiation because this is depends on temperature and uh, i already discussed about uh, the dependency on temperature and uh, dependency on temperature of this radiation that is lambda into t is equal to constant okay thank you for watching definitely subscribe this channel and share with your friends and if there is any doubt then please uh, mention in comment section i will try to explain it as early as possible. Thank you.